Hey, this is my, my buddy, Joe uh, Perry, Iowa. I had to find a, another person to take hunting. I had so much fun this morning and so many gobblers around. I started sending out calls for hunters to come with me. But yeah, me and Joe, we've known each other a couple years through Facebook mm -hmm. and met in, was it last year or the year before? A couple in years ago. In Minnesota. Minnesota. He hunts a lot of the same areas I do. So we uh, trade information and, and do whatever, but uh, figured this would be a good opportunity to finally get to hunt together. I've got a free day to hunt tomorrow and I'm tagged out. So what the heck? Anyway, we came to where I started yesterday while I was facing this way and a bird gobbled over my shoulder. But we're sitting here just about to get set up and bird just sound off on its own up there. I guarantee it's that same mm -hmm. three, four, ten bearded bird. There's a farmer working the field way down here in his tractor, I think is what triggered it, but let's get him to gobble so you guys can hear him. Sounds like he's in a tree. Yeah, he's in a tree. Yeah. There's public right on top of that spine, of that, I mean that point. It stops right at the edge where he's roosted. In order to call him in to legally kill him, we'd had to call him down the hill about five yards. You know, we'd had to be about 40 yards down the hill and shoot him as soon as he steps over the hill to take a look. He'd step over the line. Mm -hmm. He's he's in one of those positions where you really don't want to go after him because it's tricky. But let's uh, see if we can get anything to gobble on the other side here. I just can't believe nothing's roosting on that ridge. Well, we killed him last year. Me and Dusty killed the one that had been hanging out there the last two years. Let's boogie down the road. Okay. They should be gobbling at that. I mean, last resort, we come and kill this in here, or try to. It was faint. Yeah, it was. But let's see where that's at. I'm glad I'm not the only one that heard it. <laughs> First, I thought it was a phantom gobble. He's probably on that point. Oh, that could be. And so the way I would, the easiest way to go in is actually go up this valley mm -hmm. and come out like right here. Okay. It's uh not as steep right here on this on this end here. Yep. Actually, could wrap around, and come up. That's the way I do. And then just boogie across the field. Or we can go in blind where I heard at least two, maybe three goblins this morning. Mm -hmm. Which well, might be the better option. All right. Well, when we get back to town where you can uh, get some cell service, I'll share these pins and then you can. We'll kind of figure out. Yeah. We can okay. discuss it together and you can sit up all night and think about it too. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. We made our decision last night. We're not going after any of the birds we heard gobbling. We're going across uh, the valley here where I heard two, at least two birds gobbling from where I shot mine yesterday. I'm just figuring they're not gobbling or we couldn't hear them over the tractor yesterday evening. So we're just gonna make our way up there to the point, stand at the edge of the field where the point starts, you know, face it. Hopefully there's a bird gobbling that on it and we can move in and set up. Still pretty dark out here, but. Joel said he heard a bird gobble. Where's my hand at? There it is. Back off in that direction. Y'all see my finger going that way. Sounds like it's over on private, but I'm gonna owl hoot here and see if we can get one to gobble. It's not that far. No, it's not. I don't know. Let's go down here and see what it looks like. Ain't much we can do about it.
if he can see his mother. He's got his head out there. See what he does. It sounds like he's still up in the tree, right? Sounds like it to me. Yeah. I'll save some battery on this. I wonder if I should put my face paint on. I should at least look the part. He's definitely quieter. Yeah. Maybe he's on the ground now. Basically right there. But it sounds a little quieter. It's probably just because he he's he just flew down. Flew down now he's got all this foliage, what little bit of foliage is out, kind of dampening the sound a little bit. This bird long ago. See if that other one's. I don't know if we can do much with this, but here's here's the dilemma with the other one. Yeah, he may end up being over here, and but at least we have a field to call him to. Yesterday he left here and went across, and he ended up over here somewhere, and he was coming back around. We're going to be at least on the same overall ridge system. Yeah, and yeah, we'll be up on the same level and no, no big valley in between us. Yeah, I bet they're just up there walking back and forth, gobbling. Put one way that way. Sun's finally up. Oh, the clouds just moved out of the way. We've been sitting here quietly for about eight or nine minutes, maybe ten. We had a couple of birds take off flying like turkeys. One went straight away and one kind of quarter away. And we haven't heard the bird gobble since then. I wonder if something spooked them out of the field or if they just decided to up and fly to another ridge. But I'm gonna do some cutting here and see if he'll gobble. If nothing, we're gonna boogie over to where I killed mine yesterday. There was another bird over there gobbling yesterday. It sounded hot and we heard him a few times this morning. Watch him gobble down here below us. Yeah, we'll be scrambling to get set up. Yeah, I guess. Then I do pin one on one side. 
Let's go across here. Do we want to just sit tight here? Or do you want to slip off that right or you want to sit here? I think if we can just get them to come peek at the woods, I, I think if we get up here close, then it's going to sit out in the field. If, right. If we, if we can stay them. here, we can. <gasps> yeah. Okay. Oh, far away. Yeah, it is. I mean, he sounded pretty close at one point. He did. I think. I think you're right. Like, I don't think he was where he could see us, but he sounded like he was like 150 yards. I wouldn't think he would have seen us slipping up here. No, we only moved 15 feet. So we were sitting there trying to get the birds across the valley to gobble. One gobbled over here. We slipped up to the tree and then called and he gobbled out there in the field. And now he's like way over here, farther away. Like he's on a mission. You remember earlier I said I thought I heard one over my shoulder when we were messing with those? Yeah. I wonder if it was him. That's possible. See if I can get a better beat on it. Okay. Where is it? Yeah, he's always on. Yeah, he is. Man, he moves he's fast. Moving. saddle here too. Private kind of makes a corner right here. And uh, Joel just spotted that cobbler going on that top of that field there. Kind of working that way. We're going to try and slip over here and see if we can call him into the woods now that we're almost in front of him. Man, he's in cover over a mile it seems like.
it's going to be something we have to really pay attention to with the sun being on us.
time you shot him. Mm -hmm. He's done. All right. <laughs> You didn't think it was going to be easy hunting with me, did you? Oh, man. <laughs> Shane, that was awesome. He was right... Uh, that tree right there had his head blocked. I could see every time he'd strut, I'd see his tail feathers go yeah, up. Yeah, same thing. For the longest time. And uh, when he finally said, okay, he's going to step out, he gobbled. I almost touched off because I had my... Uh, yeah, I had I'd my rather him get a little more gobbled. exposed than that. He had two or three hinges flew off. I know, I saw him. Look at that. That's a dang decent spurs. Decent, those are good ones. Oh. Congratulations, man. That was fun. That was. Took it down to the wire. That was a lot of fun. We did take it down to the wire. We, You got to get to work. Well, we're going to sit right here, enjoy the moment, and I'm going to take a nap. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. That uh, one strand. Oh, yeah. It Make sure it feels that it, like it's attached. It is. Boy, that's a. Don't break it. No. That's a 14 inch beard. <laughs> it's about a nine inch beard with a 14 inch it's strand. It's got two strands <laughs> that are sticking out longer. One stops right about here, about two inches past the last one. And then that's the last one that, yeah, it's attached. <laughs> it is long. It's like four inches longer than the, it is. the beard. The beard's <laughs> like nine and a half, 10 inches. <sighs> Man, that was a fun one. Yeah. So, I mean, we basically been battling turkeys on private and trying to maneuver like this and the one first thing this morning was way on the other side and it wasn't just that he was on private it was the terrain that mm -hmm. what the chances of getting them calling across and they quit gobbling and i don't know if it was then we saw some birds fly off the ridge down on the end and we came back up and and no we sat down and i tried to get them to gobble again and this one gobbled up behind us up behind us so yeah. we set up on him but then he gobbled way off and then even farther and then we laid eyes on him going up here so we actually came up to this finger yep and sat and called and we he gobbled up here and then we made a big drop in here and i was and i was like oh man i don't know I, the problem is i you know i got to go to work and so i'm thinking about how much time do i have to invest mm -hmm. and I don't want to I got a three hour drive to get back home they're gonna be mad at me <laughs> but uh kind of the one last ditch effort we'd heard a bird gobble over here twice and we assumed it might be him could have been one I'd heard earlier but thinking it might be him and basically we took the route that we took in we took the same route back and right before I crest this hill called and he gobbled up here and the rest is history <laughs>